Hey guys, George O'Neill here, uh, Wheel Castle Daggerraden. Um, I'm basically doing a feature wall here. Um, I'm just putting a wee embossed paper on it. Um, done a couple of videos previously, yesterday and the day before. Uh, my original plan in this job was strip the walls and paint them. That's all the customer wanted. Obviously, I've painted the whole room here. But when I took the paper off, obviously, like I was saying in my previous video, this loose paint can be a nightmare. So you have a couple of options, you know, you can line the walls and paint it, or uh, a wee textured embossed paper, which we chose to do. So as you can see in the background there, I've nearly got most of the walls done there. There's a strip in the corner there to finish. I've nearly run the fireplace done. And from the fireplace into this corner, there's a few strips. So I'm going to um, paper around this side of the fireplace and show you how to do that. And um, just a few things, first of all. Obviously, before you paper any type of wall, I always like to cross line the wall before I put a finished paper on. But originally, as I say, this was just to paint this wall. So this is a better option. A wee embossed paper on a prepared wall is okay, you know, even though it's I prefer to cross nail it, but that's the way we're doing it in this job. Uh, the walls have been sanded down, all of these paint scraped off, filled and sized, because this bare plaster behind the paint was very, very dry. Um, the other wee tip that I will give you is around the fireplace here. If you look down here, you can see where I've uh, put the painter's mail in there. I've done it along the top of the fireplace as well. I've done it onto the cornice and I've done it at the top of the skirting board. I've done that yesterday and I let it dry and it makes the job very, very easy when you're trimming the paper, cutting on the caulk, it really does. So that's another wee tip. Um, I think I really that that's everything, you know. Also, uh, before you do a feature wall, you know, uh, there's no match in this paper. So it's straightforward. You can really start anywhere in this wall you want. You hear people saying, uh, you start in the middle of the wall, you start whatever. But uh, when there's no match, you can really start anywhere you want. And that's the truth. Whatever's the best way in the room to start where no match, you do it. You know, you measure the strips, how many you need and stuff like that there. So the likes of this here, uh, there's two short strips above the fireplace. That's the way I worked it out. Uh, make sure your first strip is straight. Drop a spirit level down or a plumb line so the rest flows in. And um, so there's two above the fireplace and then there's four into that corner after and there's four into this corner. So uh, basically 10 strips in total for this wall. Two short ones, eight full ones. And as I say, very important to make sure your first strip is straight. So I have a piece here ready to go on around this fireplace. So I'll show you how to go about it. Just pop that up there. Um, the other thing is, because this is embossed paper, I'm using a paper brush because if you use anything uh, like a smoother or a spatula on it, it will tear the paper. And uh, so, straight edge blade and paper and brush. And I always say, most importantly, a bucket of clean water for washing the, the excess paste down. So the top and bottom fold in this paper, okay. Drop it down. And really is easy to do this here and uh, hang this paper. Put it in place. Like so. Just use your hand to uh, place it in. And just smooth it 
get it in your hand. Let's get it. Yeah. I'll have to trim it as a cut in the fabric. So, let's bring it down your hand. And pop it in. Just there. I'll show you where. I'll use the camera down shortly. I'll show you where I'm doing around the fabric face there. But anyway, there you go. And paper brush. Push all the other side of the bag. And tuck it into a corner there. Straight edge blade. And just trim your paper. Sponge. Very both the access paste. Simple as that. Step out of the way here. I'll just move the wee camera down so you can see where I've tucked it in the top of the fireplace here. Okay, and just make sure it's tucked in nice and tight. Get the straight edge like so, push it down a lot. So from the corner of the top of the fireplace. To the end of the strip, just trim it there. Right. When you're lifting this paper away here, see this wee corner? Just don't pull it because you could rip it very easily. Hold your finger at the corner and pull it away so it doesn't rip. Okay, like so. And just strap it down like that. While it's sitting like that, trim that wee piece there. Just around the wee corner of the fireplace, okay? Like so. And just top it in. There we go. Just wipe the paste off there. I'll get the sponge and give it another wee wipe shortly, so I will. Right. I'll just pop the camera down here and show you how to cut in around the bottom section. So as you can see, there's your top piece done. Turn to the top of the fireplace so we're ready for this section here. Just unfold the bottom section here, okay? Put the paper in place, like so. And I'll just brush each side out. So I'll have to trim around this wee piece here, all right? So it's different, it's all wee curved, you know? So each wee corner, just use your scissors and trim into it, you know, like so. Just cut off the excess if you don't need. So just take your time here, tuck them in tight there, so you can get it turned right in. And again, that's where the, whenever you caulk in there, put the caulk or painter's made in there, really does help you to trim around those wee curves. Take your time. If you want. There's two. There's three. And then there's just a wee piece underneath the fireplace there. And that. Put that wee piece away there. And turn it off. And it just sits in there. So there you go. Just tuck it in over your fingers. Then bring this edge down. Trim it. Just 
appreciate that. Now that you see the skirting board where we're going to trim it to. Okay. So before you do that piece, I find it easier to cut the skirting board off section first. Lift that out and trim that off. Another hook in there. And that's your last piece to trim. A, a spare bag for all the loose piece, uh, cut off pieces of paper and put them in as I'm going along. So there we go, that's it done. Uh, all I need to do now is get my bucket of water and wash this down. Just grab a bucket here we second. So as you can see, you know, there was a lot of uh, access paste went onto this fireplace here. So wash all that off. Make sure it's all clean. There we go. And just a top of the fireplace there. So you can see now there what we've done. It's all neatly cut around that fireplace. Just the top there, give that a wee wipe. And there you have it. Okay, so I'll just show you briefly. That's around the bottom. We trim around the, around the edge here. On the top and above your corners. So, um, that was pretty straightforward enough, and uh, it is handy here, you know, as I say, when you have a bit of fillers around the fireplace um, for trimming it. Um, so, if you have any questions about papering around a fireplace or any awkward corners or anything like that, there, sure, drop me a message. Okay, thanks, bye.